Hello guys and welcome back to some more Ark Survival Evolved on the Aberrations map. Alright, uh, so nice to be playing this again. I will admit it's been quite a while since the last episode. But um, I haven't really done much, well I've, I've made a bit of progress. I've not really done anything uh, big and dramatic. I've tamed uh, like a couple of new things and I did a lot of farming so that we can start building today. And uh, off some of the things that I've been taming, well first of all I've been breeding a lot more uh, Megalosaurs. I think uh, since the previous one we have uh, Copper there, who I... Oh no, actually Copper from the uh, tamed ones, okay. Um, uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm just jumping straight into things. Like I said, it's been a bit of a while. Um, I can't remember the actual order of which everything happened, but while I was off on around like um, farming a bunch of materials, farming like a uh, metal, rock, uh, wood, etc. Just to uh, get ready for the build today. It's just going to be like a nice little simple base build, which is going to be uh, like moving uh, areas to the blue biome. While doing all that, I came across an Anki, a, what was it like, 130-odd Anki? There you go, Ashley Anki. <laughs> I went around and named a couple of dinosaurs as well, so they're not all blank anymore. I tamed her, and while I was taming her, this Megalosso, uh, Copper here, which is say 150-ish Megalo, 180 max on the server, so about 150 is pretty good. She was, um just slightly down like down the uh, ridge you know the pathway that i've been going up and down for let me see i tell you she was both of them were just about there behind the trees so very nearby not close enough i could bring them to the trap but they were very easy to knock out just uh, running around with um giant bear traps for the megalo and just you know cutting the yankee in the meanwhile i did actually have some of the uh, megalos breeding just so i can get more eggs and uh butterscotch here who needs an imprint? What is it again? It was. It's a walk. Cool. Butterscotch here, um, kind of hatched by mistake while I was uh, running around farming things. That's fine though. If I can get uh, more Megalos, particularly imprinted ones, that'd be fantastic. So far, uh, Titan, while I'm riding, is the only fully imprinted Megalo. We have one that's on uh, 50%, I think. And this one here, who, if this walk actually works. Oh, no, you're stacking me. There you go. If this walk actually works and. You know, it's not bugged out, there's only 50%. Hopefully, another fully imprint, that'd be awesome. You know, if she ever wants to get it. <laughs> oh, actually, maybe it's following Titans. Follow me and send them. There you go. There you go. Okay, that worked. My mistake. <laughs> as I said, guys, it's been a while. So, as well as the uh, the Ankylosaur and the. Oh, God. Bad Scotch. Damn it! It's just, uh, you know, a bit of a bit of friendly, friendly baby punching, you know, making them all. You know, teach them who's boss. You know how it goes. You know how it is, guys. You gotta teach them on a young. Um, <laughs> I'd also got off and tamed uh, two more roll rats. Uh, we got Red Fat Ass, who some of you may have seen in the uh, community post. I replaced Fat Ass with this one. It was the highest one I could find at the time. I think it was level. It was either 60 or 90. Can't quite remember. Bit of a pain to tame, but whatever. But on the way back, after I'd purged out all the roll rats, and she was the highest one that was there. Who, by the way, is lingering from the Christmas event. The Christmas event is no longer happening. That's where the red coloration came from, was from that. However, because I've not been able to play on the server as much, a lot of the Christmas colored dinosaurs haven't had a chance to despawn or get killed. So there's a lot of them still lingering around, but the event has ended, so they're the only ones I'm going to see. So like I was saying, on the way back home, after I finished taming Red Fat Ass, uh, this one here, Wanker, <laughs> he had uh, spawned just at my, outside my base, and he was such a pain to tame. In fact, I think this was actually like a level 120. It was something actually quite decent. Better, better than Fat Ass anyway. Uh, something decent, but it was just going so wrong. I'm not sure if the whole mechanic of uh, throwing a honey into the um, into a little burrow is bugged or not. Although I will admit, I did pick up some crystals, so I did kind of um, bug it out one, or like uh, fail at one point. <laughs> but a lot of the times, the feed kept on bugging out, and every time it bugged out, it dropped percentage. And in the end, whatever. I mean, I think I had about 25% um, taming effectiveness, which is absolutely terrible. That is really awful, even after resetting it. But whatever. I still got one. I got a male of female, which means I can get a, uh, a bread one now um, soon. When I move the base, of course. But that is all in terms of that. Oh, I have one more thing, actually. I bred up the bulb dogs. <laughs> and I've got a parasol so I can make it. Ah, get away. Yes, I bred up the bulb dogs, which just move you in a way that I can actually see you. Uh, one of the Christmas one I was using, and one with a 180 bulb dog I'd found while getting a metal as such down in the blue biome. So that's pretty cool. Actually, no, maybe that was while I was looking for the roll. Yes, I found a 180 bulb dog while looking for the roll rat. So, 
yeah, I've read them together. I've got this nice little coloration here, and it's actually imprinted. Well, it turns out the imprints don't really matter much for uh, the shoulder mounts, which is a, a bit of a shame. But, oh well. Just means I've got uh, <laughs> plenty spare. But, enough rambling. To the actual episode itself, what I have planned. So like I said, like I said in the previous episode, I want to go move to the Blue Biome. I found my location. I've gotten a lot of stuff to take with me. I've got no idea how I'm going to carry it all. Especially the foundations, the walls and such. It's very heavy. I might have to, what I might have to do is uh, do like one great big giant trip for all the animals first. That way I can bring as much materials as I want, as I need. I was originally just going to like, you know, go back and forth with it all. But I don't think I'm going to be able to do that, sadly. <laughs> but hopefully it'll work. It's going to be a, it's going to be a great migration. Another huge migration of creatures. But the biggest thing that's occurred to me, the biggest thing is, so as you guys saw the previous episode, the area that I want to have my base in uh, has all the frozen spores. And if I'm going to be going back and forth and all over the place, I'm going to need more than just mushrooms. So I'm thinking that we try the hazard suit. Now I've yet to try- oh, I need a fabricator. <laughs> that's uh, okay. That's a bit of an issue. Uh, did I already make a fabby? I, I did. Okay, that's cool. This will work out. As you guys can see over here, I have a grill. And this grill is being powered by batteries and turns out, by the way, if any of you guys haven't tried the batteries yet, they are amazing. This one battery here, which is on 396 uh, charge out of 500. That's been going on for hours. Hours and hours. And look at all the, other, all the rest I have available. I would highly recommend that I just... If you don't want to like go straight into a, like electricity and such, or if you like, for example, if you're playing S+, Plus and you can make something like a grill using a crafting station, I would highly recommend just jumping into that. Because obviously, you know, food can be a bit of a nightmare without the grill. Unless you want to spam campfires, which I personally don't like doing. So yeah, if you don't want to like jump immediately into uh, electricity, or probably more likely, if you're not uh, having much oil, like you're having a bit of an issue getting oil, the what do you call it? The uh, charge batteries are actually a really nice alternative. Like definitely viable, especially like what I'm about to do. If you have your uh, oh, well that worked out. If you have your base next to a um, a charge node, then it becomes like even more useful. Now this is only temporary, I'm only putting this here just for the purpose of having, um, of making a hazmat suit. Let's go ahead and grab one battery over here. I'm assuming the battery will work in the fabricator as well. If it doesn't, I'm about to be extremely disappointed, but I'm assuming it does. I mean, it makes sense. It does. Also, I love that. That is an awesome feature. I really, really adore that. Right then. Let's go ahead then and get the hazmat suit. So, what's it taking general then? First of all, it's... Not that expect well, it kind of is to be expected, but it's to be expected. So I need loads of blue gems, loads of crystal, loads of uh, gas boards, polymer. Uh, right. Well, considering the resources available on this map, that is actually not that bad at all. The crystal is a little bit... Mm. I might not have enough crystal. I don't know. I'm not sure how much I've, I've actually farmed. But for the rest of the materials, it should actually be fine. Since the last episode, uh, the dev kit was released for um, Aberration... Well, for all of Ark, more like. And since the dev kit, um, let's go back a step there. Oh, so that's where you make the attachment. Good. Since the dev kit, uh, mods like Structures Plus and uh, the stacking mod have both been updated. And what that means is, first of all, I can pull. Oh, I love that. I can uh, like pull like the gems, the um, the gems, the gas balls and such, all the other stuff. I can pull it into it. Go ahead and just make all of them. But on top of that, things like the gas collector. Uh, they're no longer going to get full really, really quickly. They're going to stack the balls up to 5,000 and there's 20 slots, 20 potential slots. And things like the gems, I'm not going to, you know, like completely cack myself trying to get them all. I can actually harvest as much as I want, so like a decent amount and not get horribly encumbered. So yes, yeah, absolutely amazing quality of life. I'm so happy about that. Uh, let's go ahead and get the, where's my demogun? There it is. So I don't want all this here. I am about to move home. See, that's really cool. <laughs> that looks awesome, actually. I really like that. Like, the face is absolutely horrifying. But the rest of it is really cool. Oh, and the glider. I cannot forget that. I'm already very dependent on the glider. If I forgot that, that would... Uh... Oh, what the hell? Um. Oh, God. Okay. What level is that? Only 24. Okay. That was an interesting time to turn the camera. And suddenly just see a wild megalo just charge in. That was, um, 
I expected. <laughs> so I have my suit, so I'm not gonna die repeatedly or not die. I'm not gonna get uh, poisoned repeatedly by the, the uh, frozen mushrooms. So I remember the terms there. So I guess the next part of action is quite simply to go out and move. So then, I think that's probably going to be a point here where I uh, check the inventory of all my creatures. I'm going to try and carry or bring as many with them as I can. I think what I will actually do is uh, leave Butterscotch inside the trap, get rid of the ramp so nothing can get in there. And just have like one Megalo around her so that uh, if anything attacks, that other Megalo will probably defend her. I think that's going to be the plan. But for the rest of them, I'm going to try and bring as many creatures as I can. That way I can get as much cargo as I can and make things... A little bit more efficient. So guys, it's going to be one of those uh, cut back and see the moment things. So, I'll see you in a moment. <laughs> well, overall, that took uh, a lot longer than expected. But we are very nearly done now. I was able to fortunately get, uh, you know, the absolute uh, majority of the things that I currently own. Uh, I think the only exceptions are a couple of um, like unstacked blue gems. The ones that I'd collected before the stacking models enabled. Or um, updated more like. But otherwise, that is it. Um, and yeah, I've actually got the majority of the creatures as well. I have uh, two bulb dogs up there, which are going to be left behind for now. Oh, you're on follow. You're not left to be on follow. There you go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so I have nearly everything but two bulb dogs. There's one down there that I'm meant to, that I'm meant to pick up. And uh, in the meanwhile, Buttercotch actually managed to uh, fully grow up. So I've loaded up a bunch more uh, materials and such on her. And as you guys can see, <laughs> she's picking up on the shell marks as well. This is a really nice thing about the Megalosaurus, by the way. You can, um, we all know, you know, they can pick, they can hold little shell marks and such. But if you dismount them, they keep them in their mouth. And they're going to be following me with all that. Now I've got my great big large train here of animals. We've got a parasol and a track that are trying to get involved, apparently. Kind of weird. Now, the idea is, the idea is, how am I going to do this? I set the Megalosaurus to a group. I think it was five? No, was it six? Yes, six. Which ones do I want them to be on follow? They can be on follow on me, actually, come to think of it. Actually, no, some of them might have uh, the... <laughs> the uh, follow distance shortened. All right, they can all follow on the dough deck. Go ahead and do that. Except Titan. There you go. Not Titan. And there you go. I'm going to set them all on passive. This way, the Megalosaurs won't be attacking anything and they won't drop the shoulder pets, so those shoulder pets should be fine. But otherwise, just so nothing goes crazy. I'm riding Titan here, who's uh, got basically nothing on him. Um, nothing to carry or anything. So that way, if I get attacked by anything, just be able to turn around, chomp chomp chomp. He should be able to deal with anything himself. So, I guess we are basically ready to go ahead and get Red at Fat Ass to follow me. And, uh, yeah, this is going to take a while. Especially with the Yankee and the Dodec, because they are just by default very slow. It's a long train of animals, I just have to hope that this goes really nice and smoothly. I wasn't initially planning on doing it this way, but it feels like it's gonna, probably going to be the most the most time effective solution. Right, jump down here. And uh, yeah, <laughs> just got to hope that uh, nothing goes running around, nothing gets lost. And more importantly, nothing gets stuck on terrain. That's going to be the most frustrating part too.
All right, guys, we have arrived to our new base location, and I will admit that was a much easier journey than I expected. It definitely took a while, especially with the Yankee and the Dodec being um, extremely slow. But yeah, that went a lot better than I expected. I, I, as far as I'm aware, or as far as I can see, nothing uh, got lost or anything. I mean, I'll figure out quite quickly when I get the death messages if I did lose anything. But uh, otherwise, yeah. We have made it home. I don't know why I put up those flowers and drop them back on the floor. So, now the next question, the next uh, big and obvious question is, where am I actually going to build my area? I was thinking in this area here, uh, this seems like a very nice tucked away corner, or at least for the temporary base. But then I noticed that over here, there are some like legit metal veins. And as we discovered earlier on in this uh, series, this metal vein actually produces a lot of freaking metal. So I really don't want to obstruct it. I mean, sure, I've got all these smaller veins around here, which is substantial. But yeah, man, these things are a real deal. I do not want to cover those. And uh, also, I didn't actually realize all these little ferns here, like this, uh, well, I say little, that's quite big. <laughs> this uh, fern here, uh, sorry, Tatton. I didn't realize these are all trees. So we actually have a much uh, higher wood supply than I initially thought, which again is freaking awesome. Now, in terms of uh, base vacation, so what I would like to do for the long term, for my, you know, like my, my blue biome base, is I would like to like, incorporate all of this here into something, and then have the, uh, what do you call it, the, the plant species, which is somewhere around here, there you go, the plant species over here, I was going to have my uh, base, or sorry, my uh, stables around, or maybe just like a little corner area where I can bring the animals to to heal, that was a plan for that. Uh, so there's not really much real estate over around here either. I mean, I could make it like a centipede out of rock. <laughs> but I'm not really feeling that. And I wanted to incorporate the charge node into something big. Like, I suppose I could probably like make an area here. Like, straight up in the middle. I don't know just yet. But I do see this over here. A little platform up here particularly. Like, what, what is here? I can't get here on a megalosaur, can I? No, not without a ramp. Alright. But that could be like another potential tucked away area plus there's the entire ledge up there which I've yet to see last time I was here there's a rock trick up there so I'm not really too keen on fi finding out what's here is that a blue drop oh well isn't that handy how's <laughs> I was, I was like 30 wow okay that's really handy I did not know there's a drop here oh too bad there's nothing good but that is good to know there's one here I know another blue drop uh sorry another another drop in general can spawn over there I think there's like a couple more dotted here and there around. Probably one up on that ledge. I wouldn't be surprised. Base of operation where I can begin doing things. Where do I want it? I think it probably will be around here, actually. I mean, it's not really going to cover any of the more important things. Apparently, there's evidently a lot of freaking trees here. There's uh, crystals and gems skirting... And metal, sorry. There's uh, crystal gems and metal skirting the entire outer rim of this area. Which is quite nice, actually. It kind of uh, creates like a natural barrier. I would have to fill in like the gaps, like here for instance. But a nice natural barrier. Otherwise, yeah, I think this area here is going to be like the most, um, the most open area. The larger size, they'll obstruct as little, you know, resource as possible. Especially the metal nodes. Okay, good. I found my water. <laughs> I've put everything away. I go ahead and get this uh, stone cliff platform as well. I'm not sure if I've been using this just yet. Um, I don't really have much much of a use but i have it available if i need it and before we do anything what i will do is myself a bit of a favor and just plop down some gas collectors uh i was able to make two more while looking for the roll rats or while looking for a roll rat to tame i was um running around collecting whatever they dropped down i fortunately managed to get a couple of red gems plus i picked up the first one that we originally put down before so we now have these that's going to produce a tremendous amount of um, gas balls. One, two, and three. Uh, I'll be covering all of them over time when I can. Cool, good stuff, good stuff. And then the actual building itself. So, what are we gonna have? Uh, it needs to be... Get out of my way! Go away! Right in my damn way! What level is it anyway? 102. God damn! Uh, what is that? Is that anything useful? No, cool. Okay. So first things first is we're obviously going to want some foundations. Probably won't need that many. Uh, going to want a couple of walls. Uh, a couple of windows. I do like using windows a lot. 
Move that pick over there. Actually, I don't need to do that. Um, where's the doorways? There we go. Doorways and doors. Right. So that's all the basics. We'll go ahead there and just pop that here. This really is meant to be like the most temporary base. That way I can settle down, make things, have all my resources together, be in an area, you know, that's uh, covered in resources and, you know, uh, valuable materials. And start taking my time and, you know, like getting all this stuff together to actually make the base, make the proper base. Okay, one more over here. Go have like a bit of a, a long thing going on here. That should be what I need from now. Get two door frames. One, uh, how do I want the door frames? Probably just like one over there and one over uh, here. Not really anything particularly special, just, you know, good enough right now. Um, I'm not really going to need any windows behind me. So I'll just go ahead and, yeah, just pop them all like here. <laughs> I mean, why not? Like I said, I like being able to see what's going on. Cool. So two doorways there. So I have one there. Couple things, but I probably do want a door in the back. <laughs> Oh well. And I have another line up here. That way I can, you know, have a lot of room. Nothing's really clipping, it's not ugly. Like so. And I run out. So I'll go ahead and get some more. Over here. Put it away, get some doors, get them there, get some walls, and we'll get some ceilings. And I oof. Pretty encumbered, but I'm not gonna be for long. Just gonna slowly tread my way over there. So guys, how's your day been? <laughs> there we go. Okay then. Do all of that. So this really should be like plenty of space just for all the basics, all the necessities, but with storage to spare as well. And obviously for all the bulb blocks or the uh, shot amounts. I'm getting quite a few of them and I'll probably be breeding some of them as well. Just so that way I've always got spares or I can... I don't know really. It's not really much purpose of breeding. I haven't actually checked to see yet if they get more level, uh, more stats per point. I should definitely have a uh, compare that next time I level them. Cool. That is definitely good enough. And just for my own sanity, I do want to get two ramps because I really hate the way I have, like the uh, thing just falls off really quickly. Okay. Now for actual things that are of use. Uh, so fabricator, converter, station, feeding trough, that, that, that. Uh, don't need that just yet actually. Uh, Preserving bin, that thing, Bob, Bob, that one. Lights, obviously, mortar and pestles. Uh, and yeah, uh, chairs. You need chairs, guys. I mean, they're, they're necessary. That's what I'm saying. Ah, it looks better. And do another one over here then, like so. That made a weird metal sound. That was kind of weird. All right then, good stuff. Oh, actually, before I do any more of that, I do want to get. Some torches, like maybe just like one in the front or what, like two there. I will be setting these two to um, manual and just have them constantly on. Uh, let's see, I'm blind. So there you go. Do that again and manual. All turn on. Do the same thing over here. That way it's producing a lot of light, and you know if the game gets a little bit dark, or whatever, before it actually gets on that time. It doesn't matter, I can still see exactly where my base is. Cool, plenty of lighting. Um, I know that's probably not going to affect uh, the Nameless, but fortunately I've got so many little shoulder pets there that they, the Nameless shouldn't be a problem. I say shouldn't, so I don't know for a fact, but I'm willing to, you know, wait and see. Okay, once again, really nothing perfect. Cool. Oh, okay, that... That was weird, I kind of froze up from him there, got a bit scared, I was going to crash. <laughs> Need um, the grill, of course, I'll put the grill all the way over here because it's another very large construct. Okay, about there and there. Cool, that should be fine, yep, good, good stuff. Uh, I want the smithy to be around here. And just put a chair there because, you know, why the hell not. I want my bed to be uh, there. Again, it just it does it doesn't matter. To be fair, it really doesn't. Put the crafting station there, run next to the smithy, and put the converter there. They're cool as long as it's not clipping. I'm happy. Uh, right, forges. 
I'll put a forges here next to the grill. I'll probably make a couple more of these actually. Because it, I don't think I'm going to be able to make a industrial forge anytime soon. Let me check actually. Let me check. Forge. Okay. Level 80. I'm level... Oh wow. I'm actually very close. Right. I'm going to have to go and see then uh, the material cost for that. And make, see if I can start uh, farming ahead of time. That would absolutely, absolutely be worse. Preserving bins. I'll put preserving bins next to the... Actually, maybe not. Yeah. I'll put... Uh, hmm. <laughs> Oh god, I keep changing my mind. I'm gonna pick up the forges and gonna move them. I put the preserving bins next to the grill. At least until I get a fridge. Is that that no, that's too far out. Like if before the quick and silly things, that's just too far out. Okay, that should be fine there. Let's check. It is. Perfect. Uh get the uh, refining forges again. Um Yeah, stick these over here then. One there. One there. That way I can still see through the windows. So I kind of want to be able to, you know, just run and have a look outside if I have to. Uh, mortar and pestles. I will put those probably here, to be honest. Two, three, and four. What else? Uh, a storage chest. A uh, feeding trough and uh, just a bunch of random crap. Uh, this can go here. Uh, fortunately, with the smithy, like the smithy fabricators, I've got a lot of extra space just due to you know S plus, and the crafting station itself is also very large. So I'm not actually going to require much in the way of storage, especially now that um, the second mod works with the new aberration materials and such. So I don't need like a whole line of boxes like you like you used to. It just to be more than good enough. And uh, chairs. Yeah, why not? Let's put down that. Like, I don't know. Let's put down a chair here. As they're actually good for AFKing and make sure that your stats don't just uh, deplete. Uh, put one here. Why not? And of course the uh, feeding drops. As all the animals are probably very hungry by now. <laughs> so go ahead and... I need to eat myself as well actually. Okay. Let's get... I don't know. Let's get a bit of... Yeah. Let's get some mushrooms. Just to throw it in there for now. And now that we have that in there... We will get all of those, all of those. I know not some of them should be in there, but I'll move them in a moment. Uh, cooked fish meat is no way I'm ever going to want that. Cooked regular meat, definitely try to bring all of that. Jerky, obviously keeping myself. Uh, raw meat. Uh, do I have any berries? Yes, I have some tinder berries. And that should be a bit of small meat there for now, because why not? Yeah, that should, should be it. Cool. And this is the point now where I take the, those ones. Why is that useful? That's, I can't actually remember. Like, if it's used for any animal, I mean. I can't remember if it's used for any particular animal. But it's fine. Loads of stuff. Go ahead and then grab some spark powder, put it in here. For anyone wondering, by the way, I've had all the spoilable stuff in the Ravager. As it works, same as a preserving bin. Put that in there. Put that in there. In fact, saying that, uh, if I can get my transfer gun. Do that, do that, bit of that. Cool. Where's the Ravager? Over, yep, yeah, right there. Cool. And I'm just gonna go ahead and chuck it all in there. And uh, unequip it, there you go. Cool, good stuff, good stuff. Uh, do I have all the oil in here as well? That way I can carry on making, what's it called? Stuff. <laughs> I know stuff is uh, not very useful, but I can't think of words right now just like that i don't need the two preserving bins for now actually so i'm going to go ahead and just power the one i can make it more efficient later on i will however go ahead and get on the uh raw mutton and prime i just spotted okay maybe not prime um mutton, but yeah prime no i thought we had some no no it was probably all in the ravager that makes sense okay okay uh spoiled me yep cool cool that should be all of that then that looks like all that. Yep, yeah, okay. Oh, actually, I need uh, cooked meat in there. So we'll go ahead and grab one stack of a thousand or five thousand more, like, chuck it all in there. Do I have the cooked prime in there? I do. Cool, so now both both uh, variety of jerky are being made and produced. What the hell? Okay. Um, calm down, game. <laughs> what the hell? There's like things everywhere. 
Now then, is there anything else I need? Oh, there's a lot of stuff back here, actually. So because I'm in a blue biome, these things actually have potential to give me something else. Like, I think I can see, like, the occasional red gem fall from the ceiling. And, of course, there's a rumour that, you know, they can also drop uh, quality gear and blueprints. Which I've yet to see. I've yet to see anywhere, in fact. Not even in another YouTuber's video. I've yet to see it. So, I kind of hope it's true. I'm going to be a little bit disappointed if it's not. I would really like a whip so I can pick all this up in one go. Uh, no, it doesn't look like I've got any. Too bad. Yeah, too bad. I like it though, a lot of the meshes are finally appearing. Oh, that's a pearl. Okay, cool. Yeah, I like it, a lot of the meshes are finally actually appearing now, like it used to at the beginning before we had mods on. Yeah, not really getting much, am I? Nope. Okay, what else? What else? Okay. I think that is everything we need in terms of the base. Uh, the only thing I can think of next is putting all the resources away and then tidying up the animals. That's going to be a very long and tedious process and I think this video may have gone on for long enough. I'm really trying to think if there's anything I'm forgetting. I feel like I am. But I'm just not sure right now. I, I gotta do the irrigation. That's the thing actually. I do need to do the irrigation. That's um... I, I have a way of doing it. It's going to take a long time. It's going to be very time lapse so I'll do that for the next episode. And uh, probably the pen as well. Some sort of basic cage that I can put all these in. Nothing efficient or... Uh, not efficient, sorry. Nothing um, massively effective or pretty, but just something, you know, to cage them in. Put, make them safe. You know, all that kind of good stuff. I really feel like I'm forgetting something, but I can't think of what it might be. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. It should be fine though. I think we're good. I definitely think we're good. I'm really looking forward to actually doing things here. I'm looking forward. It's weird. It's probably the first time I'm actually looking forward to farming materials. <laughs> How weird is that? But yes guys, that's gonna be it. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I know it's a very very calm one. Very uh, probably not much in the way of excitement and combat but you know that's the thing with Ark. Every now and then you do just have those little peaceful moments where you want to migrate all your dinosaurs, do a bit of travelling, do a bit of, um, you know, building and such, like a more chill building, you know? More chill. But yeah, guys, as always, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope you like... No, That's English. That was very good English. <laughs> I hope you guys look forward to the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. See you next time, and have a lovely day.